Hi friends, it's Heather Casper from the Minnesota Marine Art Museum. Happy September! September is a month when the hot summer days start to turn into more cooler fall-like days. But I wanted to focus on that bright sun and heat one more month before we turn into our cool winter here in Minnesota. Today I'm standing in the corner of our American gallery in front of a painting called Water Lilies. This is a painting by a man named Edward Henry Pothast. Now a water lily is a flower that grows on a pond. Do you see any flowers in this painting? I think the artist called it water lilies because he thought the four girls frolicking in the water reminded him of flowers. And you can see he chose flowery colors for each of their dresses. We see peach and pink and green and yellow. Do you like to splash in the cool water when it's really hot out? I definitely do. I love to feel the sand underneath my toes and the cool water hitting my skin. I have a poem for you about uh, the changing seasons and sunflakes instead of snowflakes. This is a really imaginative poem. It's by an author named Frank Ash, or a poet rather. If sunlight fell like snowflakes, gleaming yellow and so bright, we could build a sun man. We could have a sun ball fight. We could watch the sun flakes drifting in the sky. We could go sleighing in the middle of July. Through sun drifts and sun banks, we could ride a sun mobile. And we could touch the sun flakes. I wonder how they'd feel. I hope you and your grown up come to visit us at the museum soon. We have some really fun bingo you can play for a prize. And when you're here, make sure you find this painting by Edward Henry Pothast called Water Lilies. Have a great day. Bye.